Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video here on the channel. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you guys watch the Oscars last night? Well, not surprised at all, I figured. With Hollywood and basically, essentially everybody in the upper echelons going woke, absolutely understandable as to why ratings have been dropping and people have literally been turning out in droves, go woke, go broke, as they say, having Amy Schumer of all people host the Oscars, the most unfunniest woman on television, by the way, and almost all the nominations of movies that you've probably never heard of. Apparently the award show is now telling me to watch CODA since it just won Best Picture. I guarantee you this is probably the first time people have ever heard of this movie. Now it's being advertised the hell on Apple TV, all thanks to the awards it won, including the most coveted of them all, Best Picture. Well, I gotta check it out since they really want me to watch it, so maybe later this week I'll watch and see for myself how good CODA is. You can actually watch CODA right now on Apple TV, if you have Apple TV+, Plus, that is. So yeah, the Oscars just happened this weekend, and I didn't watch this year, because number one, I was at a tennis tournament, and number two, who even gives a shit since Hollywood has been going down the drain ever since they started getting woke. But there was one iconic highlight from last night that is getting a lot of attention, and I'm not even going to explain it to you. I'm just going to put up a clip on the screen and you can see for yourself. Some of you already know this, some of you already read the title and saw the thumbnail, some of you don't even know, so... Here's this one clip from the Oscars that I'm referring to, the highlight of the night in my opinion, and obviously that is not an opinion, that is actually the fact, this is the highlight of the night, but anyway, here's the clip. <laughs> Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, alright? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a nice one, okay. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Yes, this actually happened. Will Smith just slapped Chris Rock hella hard in the face in the Oscars on national TV. Now, obviously, I fucking love Chris Rock. Like, Chris Rock, he's one of my favorite comedians up there with people like Dave Chappelle, Bill Hicks, on my own personal Mount Rushmore of comedy. We all have our own personal Mount Rushmores of favorite comedians, and Chris Rock is definitely up there for me. Remember the whole bit that he did about interacting with the police? How not to get your ass kicked by police. I'll link that video down in the description below. The video is probably something that we need, especially in this day and age. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, he's probably one of the last remaining true comedians that we have right now in the modern let's pander to the under 18 pink and blue haired white kids era. Like he's the type of guy who would like, you know, make jokes about the Confederate flag, the Dixie flag, sarcastically defending its use for some odd reason. I remember the time when, like when he went down to like South Carolina and he did this bit about the Dixie flag and he talked to people in South Carolina on their own thoughts about it, regardless of what color skin they have. A lot of these people had different thoughts about it, but remained civil for the most part. But Chris Rock has that type of comedy that I tend to enjoy because, in actuality, the shit that him, Bill Hicks, and others do, that's real comedy. It's not all SNL and TikToks and shit like that. Unfortunately, Chris Rock's comedy, Dave Chappelle's comedy, Joe Rogan's comedy, real comedy, is the type of comedy that will inevitably trigger a bunch of blue-haired, white leftoids. I mean, let's keep things a buck fifty here. If Bill Hicks was still alive doing shows, he'd be fucked by cancel culture like there's no tomorrow and probably get booted off the Western world's internet. So Chris Rock on the night of the Oscars, he was one of the presenters for the Oscars, and he presented the Oscar for, I believe, Best Actor, and of course, Will Smith, happens to be nominated for Best Actor in his role in the movie King Richard, which is a tennis movie about the life of Richard Williams, who was the father and coach of Venus and Serena Williams, two great tennis legends. Although, nowadays, after the tennis tournament I went to, there are better players out there. Iga Swiatek is one of them, and I think she has the potential to legitimately be at the level of the Williams sisters if she keeps up her performance. But Chris Rock, while presenting the Academy Award for Best Actor, he decided to make like this awkward joke about Will Smith's wife, so he mentioned something about her starring in a remake of G.I. Jane because of her shaved head. 
reason for that is because she suffers from some sort of condition. Unfortunately, she didn't really like the joke too much and told Will that she felt uncomfortable. So what happens is that Will Smith goes up on stage to Chris Rock and gives him a nice whack to the face. Like to anybody who would make a nasty joke about your spouse. I mean, if somebody said something about your wife, husband, boyfriend, or girlfriend, and they felt uncomfortable about the joke they told, understandable that you have this urge to like, you know, go up and give them a nice slap in the face. Did Will Smith end up winning that Oscar for Best Actor in King Richard despite this? Yes. He did. Now, when I first saw this clip, like most people, I thought this was staged. I thought this was, like, scripted. I thought this was all staged and it was all scripted. Because at the end of the day, this is Hollywood. There is a good chance that something is still scripted, even when it really looks legit. There are moments in the Oscars that are almost entirely scripted and staged just for the show. They actually rehearse it before the actual award show begins. But this was not scripted or staged whatsoever. That interaction with Chris Rock and Will Smith was legit. In fact, when you look at re-uploads of this moment, right after when Will Smith slaps Chris Rock, you actually hear silence, almost like the audio was completely cut. Like there's a brief period of the clip where it's like completely silent. And as this was happening, Will Smith was actually shouting at Chris Rock and he said, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? That's why you heard the audio get cut after Chris Rock gets slapped by Will Smith because Will was actually cursing at Chris in that brief period of silence where the audio gets cut. I mean, this is probably the only thing that is being talked about with regards to the Oscars. And quite frankly, when people refer to this year's Oscars, the only thing people are going to be talking about is remember the time Will Smith slapped Chris Rock because his wife felt uncomfortable about a joke he told. At that point, nobody's going to give a shit about who won in this year's Oscars. Nobody's going to be talking about Coda. You can talk about Coda all you want and how great of a movie it is and the fact that the movie just won Best Picture this year. I haven't watched the movie and I might watch it later after recording, but when you mention the 93rd Annual Academy Awards, Coda is not going to be something that comes to people's minds like that, or any other winning movie. This happens a lot in the Oscars. When an iconic, funny, or awkward moment, scripted or not, happens during the Oscars, it always tends to eclipse all the winners of that year's Oscars, recalling the time they completely fucked up Best Picture in 2017. But even Chris Rock getting slapped might even eclipse the complete blunder that we saw in 2017's Best Picture. I would assume that there's going to be a lot more talk about that than the Best Picture mix-up five years ago. Although, I do want to say one thing, Moonlight is a really great movie, and I highly recommend it. Go watch it if you haven't already. Of course, Chris Rock responds to the situation by saying to viewers that it was, quote, the greatest night in the history of television. Obviously, you're not wrong. Seeing you get slapped, although I do like both of you guys, but seeing somebody get slapped on national TV really is the greatest night in television. Almost like entertainment that we didn't ask for. I do have a couple of things to say to both Chris and Will. Starting with Chris. For starters, Will Smith's wife doesn't have any hair because of a condition that she has. If I remember correctly, I think it has to do with like some sort of autoimmune condition. Hepatitis? I don't know for sure. But I actually do understand that his wife did feel uncomfortable when Chris told the joke. And of course, Will Smith, defending his wife, had every right to be offended as well and pissed off because your wife is feeling uncomfortable about the joke. I mentioned this earlier. It's understandable. But I do think Will Smith handled the situation inappropriately. I know that there are people who have the urge to, you know, punch somebody in the face over telling an inappropriate joke about your girlfriend or boyfriend, wife, husband. But you don't punch or slap people just for telling a joke that you didn't like. Just go out and tell them, ah, shut up. Or just go out and say, bro, uncool. My wife didn't like the joke you told him. Apologize. And Will should also apologize to Chris too for slapping him. Although, it really was funny watching that clip. Wow, what an iconic moment. Seeing Will Smith slap Chris Rock is going to be a completely unforgettable moment. Even Chris himself even stated that this was the greatest night in television. People are going to remember this moment for a very long time. And to make things even funnier, and here comes the memetics playing games with us yet again. So you know those animations that you see online after this incident, where you see... Marty from Madagascar gets slapped 
by Oscar from Shark Tale. Well, you see here, Chris Rock plays Marty, you know, the zebra from Madagascar, and Oscar from Shark Tale is played by Will Smith. And to make things even crazier, Gloria from Madagascar, and I'm laughing at this, this is actually pretty funny. Gloria, the hippo from Madagascar, is played by none other than Will Smith's wife herself. I guess they won't be making Madagascar 4 anytime soon. At least some of us found out that Oscar was actually in a relationship with Gloria. And you'd think that Marty would know to actually be nice to Gloria because they've been friends for all these years. And I've noticed another can of worms that have just opened. Now you're gonna see people because Gloria is voiced by Will Smith's wife. And of course, Oscar is voiced by Will Smith himself. You're gonna see people ship these two characters, which personally, I find disturbing. It really does go against the storylines between both movies because in the Madagascar trilogy, Gloria is close to Melman, who I believe is the giraffe that is voiced by the guy from Friends. I forgot what character he was. If you know what character he is, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm not so sure about Oscar. I haven't watched that movie in a very long time. I think the last time I watched Shark Tank was, I, I don't know, 10 years ago. But because of the casts of both movies and the situation that we just saw in the Oscars, I really wouldn't be surprised if we see fan art of Oscar and Gloria loving each other. It goes against both movies' narratives, that's one thing, and it's also a little bit uncomfortable for me to see a fish, a uh, tropical fish, to be in love with a hippopotamus. God knows what people are going to create with those two characters and shipping them. And that's all Will's fault, by the way. I think you have every right to stand up for your own wife. I mean, let's face it, if we were in the position of Will Smith, most of us would have had the urge to slap somebody. Let's keep it a buck fifty. But would you want to slap somebody? No. Why slap the dude? Whisper in his ear and tell him to say sorry and that your wife felt uncomfortable instead of acting like a dick about it. I'm pretty sure nobody expected to see Oscar slap Marty over Gloria. And of course, after winning the Oscar for Best Actor in his role in King Richard, there are people who suggested that they should take his award away from him because of his actions. Why? Will Smith is fucking talented. He's a talented actor. I think he does deserve that award for best actor. I haven't seen King Richard, but this dude has been in a lot of shit. And I mean a lot of shit, a lot of classics. Independence Day, Men in Black, iRobot. He has been in a lot of shit. Him slapping Chris Rock should not penalize him for winning an award. The dude rightfully apologized as he should, and as he was supposed to. Why cancel the dude? Should he have slapped Chris? No. He should have apologized. Thankfully, he did. Should he be canceled for it? No. I understand your frustration over somebody telling a joke about your own spouse and it made them feel uncomfortable. You have a right to stand up for them. However, Will Smith needs to learn to keep his cool. Your wife didn't like the joke that Chris told him? In a calm, nice, polite way, just tell him to shut the fuck up. That's what I would have done. But at least Chris Rock and Will Smith brought the Oscars back into relevance again. All it took was just one slap. Just one slap. And now people give a shit about the Oscars, except for that one event. Nobody's gonna care about who won. It's just that one event, that one slap, that is just gonna be talked about with regards to this year's Oscars. And of course, Chris Rock said it himself, the greatest moment in the history of television. At least both guys managed to make people laugh. Unlike Amy Schumer, who is a complete, unfunny individual. Anyway, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the little notification bell. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias. Links are in the description below. And of course, most importantly, also in the description down below, there are four other links to other video hosting sites that I use, BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. I know the majority of my content will be on YouTube, obviously, but I also feel like that there is some content that don't necessarily fit on YouTube because there's a chance that it might get censored, it might get age restricted, it contains content that might get the video age restricted. So what I normally do is I would make that video exclusive to these new tech sites. So while you're getting the same exact content on those three sites as you're getting on YouTube, there is a chance that one video, because of what it contains, might be on those new tech sites as an exclusive. So you won't see everything on YouTube. Not everything is gonna be on YouTube. There will be exclusives on those three sites, so be sure to follow me on all of them if you don't wanna miss out. Again, all three links are in the description below, BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. So be sure to follow me on all those sites if you can. And again, as always, like, subscribe, 
Ring notification, and until then, take care, talk soon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.